Alrighty, here we are in Banner Lord with a new campaign. We're going to just check our dialogue. There's some looters we don't want to run into. Little things will get a bit odd. And here's Farron. So we start our dialogue. First time we're meeting him, we say, My name is Dan, my ask your name. Here's our dialogue that we added. How are things going for you? And these are the four options that it gives us to choose as a player. So we can see that we can then start the different types. Or what I'm going to do for this one, because of these have no things that they actually do yet, because that's not in the code. Sorry, I just remember to have urgent business. He just says, just like I expected. We have relation of negative one. So he's not my best mate, which is why he gives me the passive aggressive response there. Um, so that's all very cool. What we could do is just check what happens if we increase his, um, what do you call it? You know what I'm talking about, his relation. Uh, set relation, we just talk relation, change here a relation, and then you type the number first and Faron. There we go, what happened? Did that do anything? Oh, cheat mode is disabled, we can't actually just change his, um, that's what happens. Had some issues with uh, the install, so I wiped my Banner Lords folder. I'll have to reset that one back, but uh, I wonder if I can find somebody who we do have a decent relation with. I wonder how we're going with Temian. Probably be the same, let's be real. What's Temian got for me? Yeah, it's a relation of negative one. They know me as Dan, mark it down, you'll be hearing of me a lot. Um, so he didn't like me. What a shame. Yeah, we'll pay the eight hundred dollar bribe. What does Tristania think of me? We've got a relation of zero, so here we go. We should get our other dialogue line here. How are things going for you? I could use a hand if you got the time. I just meant I have urgent business. These are bits of times, friend. So you can see the conditions are working. Uh, everything is going as it should. So the uh, dialogue is working at this stage. Uh, we're getting all of the options that we should. There were a couple of fixes that I had to make, so we'll go back and just briefly touch on those. Let me bring that up. Uh, where am I? There we go. Let me just turn that off real quickly. Alrighty. Uh, there were a couple of changes. First thing was that I'd moved this around incorrectly, but I don't think that ever got shown. Um, and the dialogue, I had the... Uh, where was it? I just remember I have urgent business. This then initial player reject was actually taking us to the success and pushing us through to let me tell you what I need. And then because Dankness Future didn't exist, it was giving me the option to fight him. So I guess there's a tip. If you don't have a dialogue option for it to go to, it gives you the option to attack or leave. Uh, so that that's actually interesting. That, that does open up some more options. So you could walk up to a Lord who you previously didn't attack, and then you could use this by not putting in a uh, end option and um, let them attack friendly lords. So uh, I consider that a bug and I, I will obviously fix it so that it doesn't happen in this mod. But if you write a mod that lets you start fights with other players, you could literally write two lines and job done. Anyway, that's all... Uh, That's all the real party in there. So that was just showing that it does actually work in the game, that this dialogue does fire. Uh, and the path to doing that was simple as having our register events register this uh, event with the campaign game starter on session launched. And in on session launched, we just called our add dialogues after we checked for our XML. Um, and then it started and added them all in. So there we are. Um, and we know we can use these bits and pieces to fire off our other quest bits and get that all started out so that'll be coding for me and um, I will probably come back to cover off on that at a later time but this has been creating dialogue successfully and running it in the game let's see where we go from here